A very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial where we are going to learn how to use Wanda Dynamics AI. To get to Wanda Dynamics AI, you simply type wandadynamics.com and that link is available in the description of this video. So Wanda Dynamic AI is an AI tool that automatically animates, lights, and composes CG characters into a live action scene. As you can see here, you notice we have the CG characters, but these CG characters are actually imitating exactly what has been done by the real characters, that is the human characters. With Wanda Dynamics, you are able to do all that. So for the pricing, so for the pricing, you notice that they have a $16 per month, which is the light version. They have the $84 per month, which is the pro version and the enterprise where you can get a custom made offer for your project. And with the light version and the pro version, you notice what we can do. And of course, for the other pre enterprise version. So to start using Wanda Dynamics AI, you simply go to wanderdynamics.com and then you click on open up on the top right corner. Then using your email and a password, you will log in or sign up for an account. And then that will bring you to this site. Here, as you may notice, we have a CG character replacing a real human character and doing exactly what that character is doing. So this is the live action CGI in two easy steps. Now the next step in this, if I click on next here, is where you select the character. You'll notice that with Wonder Dynamics AI, you will have to select the character that you want to replace or rather to be replaced by your CG character. And if you have more than one character, it is still possible to select the two different characters from your scene and replace them with the CG character. So the next step, if I click on next, is where you select the CG character that replaces the character you have. And so let's click on let's go so that we can see the interface. Now this is the interface of Wanda Dynamics AI. On the left hand side, you have the create new project and this is where you create your new project. Then on my project, this is where you will get your projects and then you can watch their tutorials, their documentation, and you can also join the Discord down here. Now, if you want to start again, you can also view their featured templates here. You notice we have the live action featured templates here, and then we have the featured characters down here, including this Sam, which looks like an alien. We have this, that the professor and any other. So to create a new project, you simply click on create new project on the top left corner, but you can also come down here under recent projects and click on create new project. It leads you to the same place. So I'll click on the one up here, create new project, and then it will take me to this site where I can automatically animate light and compose CG characters into a live action scene. I click on continue and that's why you should click on continue down here and it will bring you to this home page again and it will bring you to this page. You notice at the top here we have the edits, we have actor, we have render and then we have next and since they don't have a free plan I'm going to be demonstrating how to use it but once you get to a plan that is paid you'll be able to complete the last step. So I'm going to cover all the steps and then the last step needs you to pay for you to download the character or the video that will be created from CG. So on this top left hand side, this is where you upload your videos. You simply drag your videos or you can click and browse your file, your files from your PC. So I'll go to my PC and this is the character that we want to animate. This lady that is putting on the headphones and then trying or rather starting to dance. So that's the video we are going to use. So I'm going to drag that video and drop it on the left hand side here. And so now I'll give it time to upload. And again, depending on the length of the video, 
it may take more time but our video is short so that will just take a short while and our video is ready here so now i will drag this video and you are supposed to drag this video and drop it on this scene so you simply drag that and drop it there the next step you click up here on next so that you can choose the actor so you click up here next and you can get now you choose the actor this actor will be chosen automatically remember this is ai so they are going to choose this character automatically if you have a video that has more than one character there still it will still be possible for you to select different characters so i'm going to use this video that has one character but if i had several still i would find them highlighted so the next step is simply to click on scan frame for characters then you give that some time depending on the complexity of your scene it may take time but again if it has just maybe one character this may not take a lot of time so after clicking on scan the frame for character you notice now our character has a frame around her and so you can now select her if we had another character we could also be having another character here with the frame this round frame that you can see surrounding the character now the character is selected then i come to the right hand side here and this is where now you select the character to replace this one with so if now i click on this one to expand that so so that you can see the library you notice we have all these characters all this you see we have some that look like aliens we have those that look like robots and so on so you only choose one character here per character here so if i choose remember our character here is already highlighted i can choose bob here i click on that then at the top here it will load a preview for how bob looks like and it will give the details here on what bob character is bob is simply half big appearance you notice we have the details given here and then he's intelligent and can be trained to perform a variety of tricks and so you notice that is the details those are the details that we get about our character there after that you click on assign and so you now notice at the top here we have actor one so it means now that our lady who was dancing here has been replaced with actor one to go to the next step you need now to upgrade you basically need to have paid for this character now to be replaced so if i click on next this is where you can change the resolution and the file format here this one you don't need to have paid but the next step is where you need to have paid so if i click on start processing you will notice that this will just take me to the page where i need payment to be done it will first process your character so it's now processing my video but for me to proceed to the next step i need to have paid so that now i can get my video generated i hope this has been helpful kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel